In the last video I had problems with the tool changing, and in this video I got it fixed, and the printer is now switching between both tools. Long story short, it was the tool bar not being squared up with the gantry. This made mating surfaces of the tool plates and tool head not mesh correctly, resulting in repeated failed tool changes. Alright, so the air-cooled hot end is going right now, the E3D V6. It's looking pretty good so far. Uh, I've got some G-code things to work out, but the print's looking pretty decent. One more quick addition would be this uh, extruder holder that I uh, just made and printed for this. So it holds both these uh, extruder 1 extruder 2 um, extruders and so it's easily expandable so I can put another one there at the other side so pretty nice to be able to upgrade um, these components pretty easily so now I'm going to load the filament into extruder 2 and uh, purge that nozzle and get ready to try to do a dual print one more thing I'd like to mention is all this freaking rat's nest that you see here I really I probably I hate it as much as you do I hate looking at it it's not well organized and I my mission is to essentially rip all this out of here and uh, with the labels what I'm doing now is getting everything labeled and so I can do that and then reconfigure it so it's a lot neater one thing I've also done is you can see that USB cord in the Raspberry Pi I've actually attached this uh, cheap webcam. It's not the best quality, but it'll do for now. Um, just kind of playing around with uh, uh, how it all works basically. And you can see that in the, the uh, duet web view here. Let's say click on webcam. Of course it doesn't work when I show. All right, after refreshing the page, finally got it right here. So as you can see, it's pretty low frame rate. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the front panel fan mount that I'm printing now. I have that into the CAD model, but basically it's going to stretch most of the distance of this, uh, I don't know, front section, front panel. And I have four total fans, which really to be honest is probably overkill, but who cares? Uh, and then I have another uh, fan under there that I have not mounted yet. I'm either gonna do it probably up in this section or maybe even exhaust out the top. So we have the two fans there. So all the airflow is gonna kind of come in from the front, be pulled out through there and possibly through the top or even ejected out the, the top as well. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start working on enclosing this thing. I have some uh, Lexan here in the corner off of an enclosure I used and uh, no longer use. So um, yeah going to be using that to enclose this. Uh, for the main print enclosure, I'm going to be using some probably particle board and some kind of reflective tape. I've seen that in some of the Facebook posts from other people's printers and that seems to look pretty good and uh, keep the heat in from what I can see. Uh, additionally, I printed these uh, 3D printed and uses just the 608 bearing and some uh, screws and bolts here. Um, just some spool holders and uh, those actually work really well for what I'm doing so yeah it's coming together slowly but surely uh, the next step is to get uh, another fan wired up into the system and then uh, get a duct printed for the heater so once this is enclosed I can really start uh, heating up the enclosure and calibrating that bit of it Lastly, for this video, I will be installing this. Um, I have two more cable chains as well. So what I'm thinking is I'll print some kind of riser. So this will kind of be a little bit taller. And then the cable chain is gonna, uh, for the tool head on all those wires, 
is gonna just kind of sit over the top of all the other tools. And then the other tools are gonna have their own discrete cable chains. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna integrate that yet, but my plan is to have every tool having a cable chain and it be super nice and neat and clean. Um, but that might take some time to figure out how to integrate. 